See these bags under my eyes? It's from all the lack of sleep that I have not been getting over the last week, tossing and turning, trying to figure out who gets this week's coveted Midco Sports game ball. We had record-breaking performances, a 300-yard rushing game, somebody who scored five touchdowns four different ways in the same game. All of those were great, but we had to give the game ball to something I've never seen before. Seven sacks in a single game by Caleb Lohr. He gets this week's Midco Sports game ball, but here are all the different performances he had to contend with. Nate Andreessen put up a career day against Roosevelt. The senior receiver hauled in 207 yards and three touchdowns for Brandon and Valley on their way to a big win. Brendan Begeman made 300 yards look casual. He led the Wolverines to victory against a really good 9-AA team by rushing for 323 yards and three touchdowns. He also made a pick on defense. Bennett Dannenbrink played just a half a game and he piled up 329 yards and four touchdowns through the air. He found Sullivan Schlingen for 155 yards and two scores and Dannenbrink set the all-time career passing touchdown total at O'Gorman with this pass to Peyton Hagee. Congrats, Bennett. Dylan Elrod showed the state what he can do with a 370-yard, five-touchdown day to upend a top-five opponent. He found Titan Tryon in the end zone four times and hit Max Carlson once as well. This receiving combo has combined for 563 yards in just the last two games. The Tigers are roaring. Dawson Hoffman had a great all-around day. He threw four dimes for touchdowns and was just as big on the defensive side with three picks. Platt Geddes got the hard-fought win against Vibert Hurley. Another top performance, another Hoffman. Tommy this time, he went nuts against Watertown. He was a cool 21 of 30 for 299 yards through the air with four touchdowns, all of them to his senior receiver, Trig Otten. Lincoln Keenholz probably had his third best game of the season, and it maybe was the best quarterback performance of the week. This time, he showed off his feet. He ran for 193 yards and two touchdowns, and then he added 175 through the air with four more touchdowns. He now has 19 passing TDs versus just one interception on the year, and he's got four more touchdowns on the ground. UW better get ready for this dog. Ryan Krogh and Tanner Stein helped take down a ranked team and stay unbeaten themselves. Yes, the Elks are still undefeated. Ryan Krogh pulled his usual stellar day, 312 through the air and four touchdown passes and another one on the ground. Tanner Stein was the recipient of three of those passes for scores on his way to 244 yards receiving. Tanner also got in on nine and a half tackles while Krogh made 10 and a half. The Elks are bucking the trend. Quinston Llewellyn Clark had two big time runs on his way to a 235 yard rushing game. Llewellyn Clark has been improving each and every week and the Huron Tigers got a 34-32 upset win over Sturgis. Riley Rochado turned in a well-rounded performance. He had a kick return, punt return, passing and rushing touchdown all in the same game. He ended up with five total TDs he had a hand in. The big time game for the senior quarterback gave the Cavaliers a 43-7 homecoming win over Stanley County. Really, you could make an argument for any one of these outstanding performances to get this week's game ball. However, I haven't seen seven sacks in a game since the late great Hall of Fame chief Derek Thomas roped Dave Craig seven times in an NFL game. The record for most sacks in an 11 AA season is 18. Caleb Lohr almost got half that in one game. The senior blew up the offensive line for 14 tackles, nine tackles for loss, including seven, count them, seven quarterback sacks. He also forced a fumble if that wasn't impressive enough. The dude was everywhere. Caleb, you dominated. Keep on balling.